1966 coup. And let me tell you what the 1966 coup was. Some people, northern, northern people, conspired and put Awo in prison. Before then, Awo had introduced free education. Free education in the West. And Western people became the best trained people in Nigeria. Even up to today, the West. So, um, there was a preferred government system called a structure. There was a preferred structure of government chosen by the forefathers. Our Founding fathers. Founding fathers. As he was, I will love you. Can you add a kintola? Opara. And maybe we can put uh, Dennis or Sadebe. We found a country doing very well. Do you know that the World Bank made it clear in that period, 1954-1966, that some parts of Nigeria were growing faster than the rest of the world. You see, Today, instead of growing faster than the rest of the world, we are told that we are fast growing faster than the rest. We are, uh, we, uh, we, we are got fast growing poorer than the rest of the world. World leader in poverty, Nigeria. From growing faster than the rest of the world to being world leader in poverty. What happened? Why? You were talking about the 1966 coup. Cool. You wanted, there's something that you want to say. About That's what I'm going to. Awolo was incarcerated. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't finish that one before I jumped yes. into the other one. Yes. yes. You saw the Awolo performance. Everybody saw it. He brought television. He built a big, gigantic office. So, most young men, whether you are west or east or north, you see Awo as a good administrator. So, instead of languishing in jail, some young men led by Zogu and others from Bender, yes. and then one uh, what's the name of the man who came from Yoruba? The, the number two person is from Yoruba. Um, then, if you sure saw the list, there are more than 20 people. And uh, our people, Igbo, were minority. And the coup was to bring Awo out of jail and install him as Prime Minister of Nigeria. That was the intention. Look at how much we have suffered. Igbo people have been killed massively. People didn't know. Because of the same hour. Yes. They didn't know that. It was for hour. Hmm? And nobody is regretting. Those who did the coup didn't regret it because they, they did the right thing. It's just that it didn't work. It didn't work because some of, the, some of them failed. So um, that's phase one. The phase two is very important. Nigerians, 
as we call them our founding fathers um, decided on the structure for Nigeria the political structure for Nigeria what did they decide they decided to have a meaningful federal system some people can call it true federalism but let's say a meaningful federal system with regions as federative units. That means there will be that means there will be a constitution for each of the regions and the constitution for the federal government. The local things are done by the regions. What you call local ambiguous sometimes up to uh, university education. So we agreed to have each region growing at its own pace. You don't even come near enough. When I was uh, growing up, I didn't know anything about Muslim. So there's nothing, no contact. But being Igbo, we were all over the place. I, uh, we, uh, the north, we were the west, and everything. So, it was this structure of federal system based on regions as federating units, it was this structure that made us grow faster than the rest of the world in some parts. So, so.